Hi, my name is Michelle and this is Dawson, also known as Brand X. And we're gonna take you through a fun and informative demonstration as to what truly goes into pet foods today. So we're gonna show you cup by cup, ingredient by ingredient, what goes into making a 13 pound bag of Origin Original versus a 13 pound bag of Brand X. So what is Brand X? Brand X is a grain-free food that's typically found at pet specialty stores. And even though biologically appropriate Origin is grain-free, hopefully what you'll realize by the end of the demonstration that it's much different than a typical grain-free food. So before we begin, why are we doing this and why should this matter to you? Well, first of all, you're pet specialists. And pet lovers are coming to your store because they're looking for a trusted recommendation. So they're looking for your product knowledge as well as your expertise. So it's our hope that by doing this demonstration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you a few tips to help you talk to your customers so they can make the best choice for dogs and cats. So let's begin. So if I take a look at my recipe card, I'm taking a look at the very first ingredient that I have here, which is fresh chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in eight cups of fresh chicken. So this fresh chicken here, it comes from trusted local suppliers in Kentucky. So what's important to know about this fresh chicken is the fresh chicken comes in whole prey ratio. So it includes the muscle meat, the organs, as well as the cartilage. And this is much different than typical pet foods today. And the beauty of whole prey is that you're supplementing a dog or a cat from mother nature as opposed to having to add synthetics. But we're gonna talk about whole prey later. So let's just move on to the first ingredient in Brand X. So what do you have, Dawson? First up for Brand X is 10 cups of deboned chicken. So oftentimes when retailers or pet lovers, they look at an ingredient panel and they see deboned chicken, it's natural that they typically think that it's fresh or it's a raw or a frozen ingredient. But it can also be what Dawson has just added here, which is four parts water to one part chicken. So a big difference in ingredients here. You should know that not only is this a dry or a processed ingredient, it's also not in whole prey ratios. So you're missing the benefits of mother nature, the organs as well as the cartilage. So let's move on to the next ingredient that we have in origin, which is fresh turkey. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in, it looks like I need uh, five cups of fresh turkey. So just like the chicken, this is fresh and also comes in whole prey ratios. And again, it also comes from trusted local suppliers in Kentucky. Dawson, what's the next ingredient you have on your list? Next up for Brand X is two cups of chicken and turkey meal. So the chicken and turkey meal that Dawson has just added in here, this is very common in pet foods today. It's a conventional meal. And there's a few things that you need to know about this ingredient. First of all, this ingredient comes from a rendering plant, so it's been highly processed, cooked at a very high temperature. So when you cook an ingredient at a high temperature, you lose a lot of the nutritional integrity of your ingredient. So I always like to ask people, how many times do they like their chicken cooked? Once or twice? Well, of course, just once, and that is the beauty of fresh. The second thing that you need to know about this ingredient is what actually goes into the food. So oftentimes when pet lovers pick up their bag of food, they'll see a whole chicken or a whole turkey on their bag. And this is what they assume is what's in the bag. However, what typically happens is that animal, it gets filleted, the fillets go to the grocery store, and what's left over is the animal frames, the bone and a little bit of meat. So this is a very unbalanced ingredient. And the third thing that you need to know about this ingredient is it isn't necessarily past fit for human consumption. So all the ingredients that go into Origin Original have all been deemed fit for human consumption. So let's move on to the next ingredient on my list here. If I take a look at my recipe card, it looks like I have fresh whole eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my eggs. So I have two cups of eggs. These uh, eggs come to us whole and they come to us fresh from trusted local suppliers. And what's important to know about the eggs is eggs, first of all, it's a perfect source of amino acids. So it has the perfect amino acid profile and it's a great source of protein for dogs and cats. So Dawson, do you have any eggs in Brand X? Yes, I have half a cup of dried eggs. So what Dawson has added in here is dried egg. So obviously a dried egg is a processed ingredient. And also it's important to know that any dry ingredient, typically you don't really know where that's coming from. So it often is purchased through a broker. So let's move on to the next ingredient on my recipe card here. It looks like I've got some Atlantic mackerel. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my recipe. So I've got a couple cups of mackerel. 
Our mackerel comes from a company called Norpel Fisheries. Norpel Fisheries is based in New England and they are our supplier of all of our wild caught fresh whole fish. Dawson, do you have any more meat or any fish to add to your food? No, Michelle, I'm a lot of meat on my side. Okay, well, I've got a few more different types of meats to add to my food, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my fresh fish. So here I'm gonna add in fresh wild caught herring. Wild caught herring, by the way, you'll notice it's nice and rich and dark in color. And the reason why it's so rich and dark in color is because it's packed full of omega-3. So it's a nice natural source of omega-3 for dogs and cats, great for skin and coat. I also have another fish that I'm gonna to add to my food. I've also got wild caught flounder. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And again, just like the mackerel as well as the herring that I've added to the food, the flounder comes from Norpel Fisheries and it comes to us whole. Now this is an important key point of difference that you should know about in our food. We're using the whole fish. So again, most pet foods today, people look at the bag, they see a whole salmon on the bag and they believe that that's what's in the food. The truth is the fillets, they go to the grocery store and what's left over is the head, the tail and the rack and just a little bit of meat. So it's a really unbalanced ingredient. So we are the only company that I know of that is using the whole fish. So Dawson, are you sure any more meat, any fish to add to your food? No, Michelle, no more meat. All right. So I'm gonna move on to the next thing on my ingredient list here. I've added in all my fresh, but I have some dry ingredient to add. So I'm gonna go ahead and add uh, some of my render-free dehydrated ingredients. So I've got a combination of chicken, turkey, mackerel, sardine, and herring. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the food. So at first glance, if you take a look at this ingredient, it looks similar to some of the dry ingredients that Dawson has added into Brand X. However, this is a quite different ingredient, especially made for us. So this is a render-free dry ingredient, custom made for us, cooked at a very low temperature, also made with animals in whole prey ratios, and all the animals that go into this dried ingredient are all past fit for human consumption. This is an incredible ingredient, a great source of protein that fresh meat alone cannot provide. So Dawson, anything else to add to your food? Well, that's a lot more meat than we have over here at Brand X. I'm gonna to need to add something to my kibble in order to boost the protein levels. So I'm gonna add three cups of pea protein. So Dawson's just added in pea protein. Uh, this is a fairly common ingredient in pet foods today. Those grain-free foods that are found in pet specialty stores. So whether it be pea protein or potato protein, it's a problem with this ingredient. The first thing is dogs and cats, they're meat eaters. They're actually not meant to eat plant protein. So plant protein tends to be less digestible or less usable. The second thing you should know about this pea protein that Dawson has added in, is missing a lot of the essential amino acids. So when it comes to protein, the best source of protein for dogs and cats should be coming from meat. So now that we've got all of our protein and all of our meat ingredients added to the food, it's time for us to add a little bit of carbohydrate. Because we are making a dry food, we need something to keep the kibble together, a binder to keep it together. So Dawson, do you have any carbohydrates to add? Yes, I have some peas. And I also have five cups of a starch blend that I will use to keep my kibble together. I have potato starch, sweet potato starch, tapioca, and potato. Okay, so what Dawson has added in here, again, this is quite common in pet foods today, even those foods that are found in pet specialty stores. He's added in some starches, tapioca starch, and pea starch to his food. It's a problem with this ingredient though. This ingredient is extremely high on the glycemic index, equivalent to a candy bar. And this causes all sorts of health issues in our pets. It leads to things like diabetes, obesity. So really when it comes to carbohydrate, it's best to use low glycemic carbohydrate. The second thing about the carbohydrate Dawson has added here, it's very high inclusions of carb. So most pet foods today have 40 to as high as 60% carbohydrate. And again, leads to all sorts of health issues in our pets. So when it comes to formulating and making Origin Original, there's a couple things we considered. How much as well as how fast. So the carbohydrate content is nice and low in Origin Original. And we've also considered the type of carbohydrates that we use. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my carbohydrate ingredients. So I'm adding in a nice blend of carbohydrates. So whether it be chickpeas, lentils, pumpkin, butternut squash, some greens in here. They're all nice sources of low glycemic carbohydrates. And the great thing about these carbohydrates as well too is not only do they help us keep the kibble together, but they're actually also a great source of vitamins, minerals, and fibers. So now that we've got that added in, I'll just take a look at the next thing on the list. Um, but I think before I do that, Dawson has one more thing to add. Do you have any fruits and vegetables? Yeah, I do, but I guess they're a little on the dry side though. So again, what Dawson has added into his food is typical of pet foods today. So if you take a look at the ingredient panel labels today, you'll see carrots, you'll see peas, you'll see all sorts of blueberries added to the food, but oftentimes it comes in dry form. So it comes in a processed form and again comes from an unknown source. Whereas the fruits and vegetables that we've added into Origin Original, they all come from trusted local suppliers. So uh, anything else next on your ingredient panel, Dawson? Oh, next up for Brand X is flaxseed. So Dawson has added flaxseed to his food and this is fairly common in pet foods today. And flaxseed, it doesn't sound like a bad ingredient, but actually it's not appropriate for dogs and cats. So flaxseed is a source of omega-3. And the trouble with flaxseed is dogs and cats aren't efficient at using flaxseed as a source of omega-3. Best source of omega-3 actually comes from fish oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of fish oil to my food. So here I've got a bit of herring oil to add. You'll notice that I didn't have to add in a whole lot of herring oil. And the reason for that is if you remember all the fish that I added in earlier, the mackerel, the herring, the flounder, those are all great sources of omega-3. So I didn't have to add in a whole lot of herring oil. So now that I've got my herring oil in, it looks like the next thing on my recipe card is botanicals. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those. So here's what I love about our foods. Even though the botanicals make up a very small portion of the food, it's still important to us to know where they're coming from. So this is an ingredient that has been contract grown from us from trusted local suppliers. So we know where all of our botanicals come from. And the beauty of botanicals, what they do for dogs and cats, well, in nature, dogs and cats, instinctively, they graze on different grasses and plants. So this is a nice uh, digestive aid immunity booster and really helps just with the overall well-being for dogs and cats. So Dawson, do you have any botanicals in your food? Yes, um, I've got one. So Dawson's added a botanical. And again, if most pet foods today, if they even have botanicals in their food, again, it typically comes from a broker. So it doesn't come from a trusted local supplier. So now that we've got our botanicals in there, what we need to do is ensure this food is nice and balanced. So because of all the meat, all the fresh meat, the variety of meat that I've added into the food in whole prey ratios, my food is actually pretty balanced. The only thing that I need to add to this food is a little bit of zinc. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of uh, pumpkin seeds. It's a great source of zinc. And I'm also gonna supplement with a little bit of zinc as well too. And that's it, that's all that I need to add. The food is relatively balanced. So how about you, Dawson? Any supplements in Brand X? Well, I have a few more than that. In order to ensure that my food's nutritionally balanced, I'm gonna need to add 16 different minerals, along with 13 different vitamins. And finally, I need to add two amino acids. So this is fairly common in pet foods today is if you, again, take a look at the back of the ingredient panel, you'll see a long list of ingredients that you can't pronounce. These are all your synthetic vitamins, minerals, amino acids. And there has been studies done for dogs, cats, as well as people that say that it's a little bit questionable as to if these ingredients are actually truly bioavailable or usable. Here's what we do know. We do know the best source of vitamins, minerals, amino acids comes from mother nature, it comes from your foods. So it's best that it comes naturally. So I've got all of my ingredients added in, but I believe Brand X has one more to add. So what do you have, Dawson? That's true. As you can probably tell, my mixing container is quite dry and I can't make a kibble out of this. So in order to do so, I'm gonna to need to add eight cups of water. So again, this is quite typical of most pet foods today because there's a lot of dry ingredient. You have to add water to start the cooking process. Origin, however, is a little bit different. 
So with Origin, because of all the fresh meats that we've added in here, no need to add any water. It actually cooks in its own natural juices. So now that we've got all of our ingredients in our mixing bowls, it's time for us to use our imagination. So we don't have any of our kitchen equipment here today, but there's a couple things that you need to know when it comes to cooking foods. So when it comes to Origin Original, Origin's cooked at a very low temperature, so 195 degrees Fahrenheit, versus Brand X, and most pet foods today, they're cooked at a very high temperature. We also make Origin foods in very small batches. Again, low temperature cooking, and we cook it nice and low. So low and slow is what we think about when we're making our foods. Again, when it comes to other pet foods, other pet foods today cook at a very fast speed and also high temperature. So you lose a lot of the nutritional value of those ingredients. So now that we're done the cooking process, what does the final food look like? Let's take a closer look at the final product because also the final product tells us a story. So first of all, if you take a look at Origin Original, you take a look at the color of the kibble, you'll see the color of the kibble is much darker than Brand X. And that's because of all the meats that we've added to the food. It's nice and rich in meat. The second thing you'll notice is that the kibble itself is a little bit misshapen. And the reason why it's misshapen is because of all the fresh meats that we've added to the food, and also the kibble itself or the food itself is low in carbohydrate and so it's hard to keep the kibble together versus Brand X, which is a more uniform shape. And the third thing you'll notice is if you break apart the kibble, that also tells a story as well too. And if you take a look at biologically appropriate origin, you'll see that the kibble inside is quite dense, similar to a piece of meat, versus breaking apart Brand X or most grain-free foods today, you'll see lots of tiny little air pockets. And those air pockets represent starch, and that's because the food is quite high in carbohydrate, high in starch. So let's go back to the beginning. Recommending a food for dogs and cats. How do you do that? Well, we always recommend that you should use what we call meat math, which are three meat questions. How much meat, how much fresh meat, and how much variety? So taking a closer look at origin, when it comes to meat, there's a lot of meat in there. We've added an 85% meat versus Brand X. Brand X has 25, maybe 35% meat. So big difference in meat content. The second meat math question is how fresh? So you saw all the fresh ingredients that we've added into the food. Out of the 85% meat, two thirds is fresh versus Brand X and most pet foods today have little to zero fresh. And the third meat math question is how many? So if you remember from earlier, what we added into the food, we've added in chicken, turkey, several different types of fish, eggs, all in whole prey ratios, reflective of the natural diet. Versus Brand X here, very little variety, one, two different types of meat and no whole prey ratios. So what are the results of a food that's nice and rich in meat content, that has variety, that has fresh? Well, the result is it's a food that's nice and rich in protein, protein coming from meat as opposed to plant, and a food that's nice and low in carbohydrate, which is perfectly appropriate for dogs and cats. And the other beauty of this is that the food is supplemented naturally, so supplemented from mother nature, as opposed to having to add all those synthetics. So again, back to the beginning and why this is important to you and why you should care about the presentation. Well, you're pet specialists. And pet lovers, they trust you. They're coming into your store because they're looking for your product knowledge and for your expertise. And so again, what we're hoping that this demonstration will do is just give you a few tips when you're talking to your customers to help them make the best choice for their dog or for their cat. Hopefully you've enjoyed the demonstration. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thank you.